slowing down. Are those the people? All right, put your hands up over your face. Pretend what? you're sleeping. <laughs> Mr. O'Brien. Uh, no, I'm uh, Dylan Murphy. Uh, Mr. O'Brien had a long trip. He's sleeping. Oh. Well, I don't want to disturb him. We're just really excited to meet him face to face, finally. We're faithful readers of his newsletter. Newsletter? Right, well, of course, his great book, Big Game. Oh, yes, he's uh, very proud of his work in the, uh, Big Game. <laughs> so you've never, uh, met him before? No. Never seen a picture of him? Never. Not even on the book jacket? There was no picture on the book jacket. Hey, O'Brien, wake up. Come on, we got company. <laughs> wake up. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> I'm O'Brien. I don't think we're going to make the tip off. You think someone's been tipped off? <laughs> so, um... You've read the big game, have you? Yes, I've read it and, and I've memorized it. <laughs> well, tell me your impressions. I would love to hear what a young woman thinks of the, uh, the big game. Well, this is sort of embarrassing. <laughs> but it's changed my life. The way you analyze the game, the way you identify the major players, oh, it left me breathless. You're brilliant. Brilliant man. Well, it's, it's just a game. Remember that, kids. Just a game. He's so humble. Don't forget what you wrote in the epilogue. The mm. fate of the world depends on the outcome of this game. Hmm? Well, I was exaggerating a bit, just for effect. He tends to exaggerate. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's serious. But... We are really looking forward to your speech tonight. <laughs> Uh, my speech. Yes, your secretary faxed me the copy. Would you like to look it over? Well, you might as well look it over. And the Jews steal our money through their Zionist occupied government and use the black man to bring drugs into our oppressed white minority communities. You're not going to open with that, are you? What was that you said about the myth of the Holocaust? You said so many things. They're shooting! They're shooting! All right, get down. Ready to die for you. Oh, that's that's really very nice of you, Ava. Thank you. But of course, you know I would. I would do anything for you. Anything. Nothing to worry about. It was just a flat tire. But rest assured, we're prepared to handle anything that might come up. Nice looking Luger. I'm standing in front of the Paramount adjacent to Madison Square Garden, where a growing number of vociferous and angry demonstrators are gathering to protest the very first public appearance of Donald O'Brien, the leader of the Midwestern Regional Chapter of the Aryan Union, and reputed to be their most charismatic spokesman. The reclusive Mr. O'Brien is an advocate of the violent overthrow of the government. He has openly professed a deep admiration of Adolf Hitler. Even David Duke has denounced him as a dangerous extremist.